Well, this year, Halloween falls on a weekend, so no doubt there's going to be plenty of parties. The National Retail Federation expects consumers to spend more than $10 billion on Halloween-related items. That's a new record. And while the CDC encouraged us to stay home last year, this time it's given us the green light to safely trick-or-treat in small groups. Madison Kimbrough is live in front of a Spirits Halloween store with more on the outlook for the season. Madison? Yeah, more people are expected to celebrate Halloween this year with all the events happening across the valley. But for businesses, it is their chance to make up for what was lost last year. For parents like Mark Ackfully and Carrie Wilson, Halloween can't come soon enough. She wants to be Pennywise and he wants to be a marshmallow man, kind of like the Michelin man. We love Halloween. <laughs> Want to kind of go back to normal and let the kids have fun. Martin Sadowitz would like to see things back to normal too. He owns the American costume store on Sahara. Stocking shelves has been a struggle. So many costume companies have gone out of business. It is so difficult to be in this time period uh, with the COVID crisis and try to supply people with costumes. Yes, yeah, sales have gone down. Uh, most about half. As for haunted houses, Rich Stralak, the owner of Asylum and Hotel Fear, is excited to see people return and is still looking for volunteer actors. I think we're still going to have a good audience coming out this year because people, they're, they're always going to be hesitant. So we'll still do volunteers up and throughout the season if we can work them in. As for the number of people allowed in the haunted house, it's a max of six at a time, and reservations can be made online. Now, as for the shoppers here at Spirit, most said they had no problem finding the costume or decorations they wanted. Although at one location we went to at Spirit, they said they were sold out of the talking Chucky doll. Reporting live, Madison Kimbrough, live, local, now.